Thank you, Kabasa. Now, across the borders, two years after the Taliban came into power in Afghanistan, not a single country has formally recognized their rule. Engaging with the Taliban government remains deeply controversial. This and more in the International News Roundup. As the world struggles to decide how to deal with Afghanistan's new rulers, women rights in the country remain a front line for political battles. The Taliban are reported to be putting pressure on women seeking recognition from the international community. One of the beauticians at a salon says she was forced underground two weeks ago after the government ordered all women's beauty parlors to shut down. It is the latest in a seemingly endless raft of decrees restricting the lives and liberties of Afghan women and girls. Meanwhile, as tens of thousands of Israelis continue to join weekly protests over the government's highly controversial plans to change the justice system, as many as one in three citizens is thinking of leaving the country, according to a poll. Among the crowds blowing horns and waving Israeli flags on Tel Aviv's Kaplan Street, there is fury at legislation being passed to limit the power of the Supreme Court. Protesters believe it endangers democracy. The expected negative economic fallout of the government's judicial changes and rising living costs are also push factors.